of Free Media. I'm Amber Duke. And I'm Robbie Suave. Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito again finds himself at the center of a media firestorm after a reporter pretended to be a Catholic conservative and approached him at an event. Now let's listen to the audio of their conversation. As a Catholic and as someone who like really cherishes my faith, I just don't, I don't know that we can negotiate with the left in the way that like needs to happen for the polarization to end. I think that it's a matter of like winning. I think you're probably right. I mean, one side or the other, one side or the other is going to win. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, there can be a, 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 a way of working, a way of living together peacefully, but it's difficult, you know, because there are differences on fundamental things that really can't be compromised. You know, really can't be compromised. So it's not like we're going to split the difference. And, and that's what I'm saying. I just. I think that the solution really is like winning the moral argument. Like people in this country who believe in God have got to keep fighting for that to return our country to a place of, of godliness. Oh, I agree with you. Now the reporter behind the surreptitious recording told her side of the story on Joy Ann Reed's show. Let's watch. Were you surprised at how candid he was about saying one side or the other is going to win? It's not like we can split the difference. He's essentially saying he's agreeing. Yes, we need to win this culture war. Yes, of course. I mean, uh, when the first interaction happened, I was like, OK, well, it's very hard to get a judge, a justice, even lower level judges to talk about politics, anything that might imply politics, to give any sort of hint or signal as to what their own opinions may be. All right. So. I thought the flag, the American flag being flown upside down was not a big deal, but they probably shouldn't have done it. The appeal to heaven flag was uh, was a total controversy because that's a beloved, you know, symbol of the Revolutionary War and it's been used by everyone including Black Lives Matter like 5 seconds ago. This is somewhere even below that on the terms of <laughs> I was worried uh, about what you were going to say. What the direction I was going? <laughs> yeah. No. I mean what he said he said that I mean, she prompted him to say that the culture, you know, the promoting religion in the cultural sense, we got to become a more godly nation. Of course, he agrees with that because he's a conservative Catholic. But he later says that there's a limited role for the court in all of that. So I don't, I, I'm like, what is the, I, I, frankly, I don't think anyone but Joy Reid thought this was that explosive of an interview. I like the reaction on social media. I think even for most liberals was like, what's the big deal? It but was, yeah, it was so incredible. So this woman is some kind of citizen journalist and she has a penchant for trying to get these undercover audio She's recordings. Lady O'Keefe. That's right. Well, I was just about to say, her stuff usually lands even flatter than most of Project Veritas's exposés. Yes. So she, exposés. Right. So she, she tweets this out, and it's like, I've got an exclusive in the Rolling Stone. And she mischaracterizes every facet of the conversation. She says that... Um, that Alito said that the right needs to win, which he didn't say which side he wants to win. He didn't even say who should win. Right. He just said somebody's going to win. It's like which me is... giving a Super Bowl prediction. Well, it's going to be one <laughs> or the other. Right. Somebody, I don't know who's playing somebody, this year, but somebody's going to win. Somebody's going to win it. And then she goes on to um, accuse him of, of basically being incapable of being impartial on court cases. And during that snippet of the conversation, as you said, he's, he tells her, well, the role of the court is very limited. We don't play any role in helping to heal the political divide. We just decide on cases. Then she goes on to say that America is a Christian nation, which he also rejects and says that he believes in religious freedom and that Muslims and Jewish people and other people of other faiths in America would take issue with that mm. statement. So every step of the way, he actually debunks her assumptions about his supposed right-wing radicalism, and she still goes on to the media to present it as this major bombshell. Yeah, and it, 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 the, I think comparison to Project Veritas is is deserved here. Like I, you know, I followed the scoops James O'Keefe. You know, he's. He's talking to like a lower level employee at CNN or at Pfizer or something. And, uh, y you know, the, the problem with this whole kind of journalism is that if you're talking to someone and you're misrepresenting yourself, like 
how do you know they're not misrepresenting their selves? Like, if you come up to me at a party and you start saying crazy things to me, I might just agree with you right. in order to, to like end the conversation. <laughs> like, I said this on Rising today, so apologies for repeating myself like verbatim. But it's like if a you know if a if a cultist came up to me and is like, let's all drink Kool Aid and like kill each other, I'd be like, yeah, sounds great. I'll join you. Get you know get out of my face. Like, haha, Robbie endorses Jonestown. Like, you know, it would be a stupid thing to do because I'm just trying to get out of this conversation. Alito might have been doing the exact same thing for all we know. I'm pretty sure that I have actually said the exact same <laughs> words that Justice Alito said, which is, yeah, you're probably right. I agree with you. You're so right. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know how it is. We're not you, listening. Yeah, you're at these things. You just want to, you're trying to get to the bar. You just want a glass of wine. Thank you. And some crazy comes up and they go, I, I, can you believe what they're doing to the political prisoners of January 6th? I mean, yeah. this guy killed a cop and yeah. now they're holding him hostage and you're yeah. just like, oh, it's so terrible. Like, And that's a bad example, yeah. but because <laughs> like, there I, actually I, are I, some political prisoners. Like, I but. weep for my country <laughs> and my glass is empty. Right. <laughs> and, then you, and then you look down at your drink and you look at yeah. them and you go, oh, uh, I'm sorry, I gotta go get a drink. And the worst though is when they say, oh, I'll come with you. I know oh, that's as well. Oh, that's a death sentence. So the bathroom, a cigarette break, uh, there's oh. all kinds when cigarette they follow break. you on the cigarette break is when you know oh, you are going yes. to get this story no matter what you're just you just have to listen yeah I mean obviously all of these attacks on the court recently are are designed for some kind of purpose which is the calls from the left are for Alito to either resign from the court entirely or recuse himself they've gone after Clarence Thomas for yeah. his relationship with Harlan Crow yeah. and his appar apparent failure to abide by ethics rules of which there weren't any when yeah. he was going on these trips They've gone after Amy Coney Barrett's husband for the crime of being a lawyer also and like taking cases from clients. So they're trying to winnow down yeah, the conservative that one's also majority. Really dumb. I will at least, you know, to be fair, in the Clarence Thomas case, I, I don't know, and I didn't follow very closely the whole Harlan Crow thing. That because Samuel Alito's the, the wife behavior has been has been a, a issue of attack. I don't care about the Martha Alito thing. Ginny Thomas, Clarence Thomas's wife did seem, it is more substantially um, proven to have been involved in the kind of January 6th stuff, right? All the, the ta all her, like she's a, she's a right-wing activist who was absolutely encouraging all the election stuff. And I, I see why people have, have, have uh, are, are going to make an argument about Clarence Thomas not being. Well, his is the strongest case, but then you yeah. have a direct analogy to RBG, who was like their sainted hero. Right. Her husband, Martin Ginsburg, has all of this business related to political cases as a lawyer. She has a history of friendships with billionaires who have given her trips places or, or given her mm -hmm. some kind of special favors, Katanji Brown Jackson got tickets from Beyonce, like it's all yeah. so silly. Well, I don't care about that. I mean, yes, a lot of this is stupid. Like, I've said this before, Elena Kagan, you know, she participated in the Harvard uh, from of action case, even though she was dean, I think, of, of the Harvard Law School. And like, do I think she should have recused herself? No. Like, right. I don't think any, you know, I, I think these people are making independent enough judgments. Are they, they're, now they're making, not making totally objective, like they have no views in and of themselves because that's just not how any, that's not how the courts work. That's not how, that's not like, how these humans clearly work. <laughs> have, have views and you know, it is what it is. But a lot of cases are decided, you know, in our extremely partisan times, a lot of Supreme Court cases are decided like 9-0. There are some legal issues where they all look at them and go, yeah, this one's, there's, there's no arguing this. So there is still some independence on the court. Yeah, we had the NRA speech case recently where they ruled unanimously. And I mean, we'd have to go down all the way to the lower courts too, where you have 300 judges that Trump appointed and 200 plus that Biden appointed. And are we gonna force them all to recuse themselves on cases that have to do with right or left politics in any way? It becomes yeah. a very dangerous slippery slope. And I, I just, I don't like the assumption that these justices are not allowed to be human beings. Like, Alito's not allowed to express that he wants America to be more godly. He's supposed to be some unfeeling robot when he uh, is outside of the court and not deciding on cases actively. It's, it's, it's pretty naive. It's ridiculous. It's pretty naive. More free media right after this.